Whoever quoted diamonds are a girl's best friend obviously never owned a dog. These furry creatures are the most loving, loyal, and intuitive beings on the planet. This black blob over here who is Jack, he's a miniature Australian Shepherd, and this is Denny who is a Australian Shepherd Border Collie. These are actually my parents' dogs who I've gotten to love over the past 10 years. If you want another way to spoil your pet, make sure you stay tuned to see how I make our elevated doggy dishes, enhancing the way your dog eats. First thing I'm going to do is cut the top of my dog feeder. The measurements of my top are 18 by 9 inches, and I'm using a 1 by 10 that I had and shaving off some from the sides. You can also use a table saw for this. I traced around my dishes and then I cut just inside the lines. It's important to cut inside the lines or else your doggy dishes will fall right through. I drilled a hole in my circle so I could fit my jigsaw blade in and then cut out the circle. I sanded the edges using a sanding bit and a drill. You could also use a sanding block, dremel, or spindle sander for this part. I gave it a quick sand all the way around with an orbital sander and then stained it and let it dry. to cut out a handful of strips for my frame hair and bone design on the sides. My strips are one and a quarter inches wide. Then I used my miter saw to cut the pieces to length. The pieces for my frame were nine inches for the top and bottom and seven inches for the sides. Then I cut them on a 45 degree angle on both ends. My hair and bone pieces were two and three eighths Long. I highly recommend making a jig for this part so that all your pieces are the exact same length. I gave all the edges a quick sand using my palm sander. You could use a sanding block or skip this step altogether. I laid out my hair and bone design, set the frame on top, and then traced the frame on so I could see where my cuts needed to be made. and then gave it a quick sand. I used four pieces of 1x2 to add stability and attach the sides to the top. I screwed one 8-inch piece to each side and then framed the sides together by air nailing a 15-inch strip to the front and back. a few more seams with wood putty and then gave it one more final sand. Next I painted it with cloud white paint by Benjamin Moore.
subscribe button so you never miss a video featuring these cute little pups. Do it! Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you all again soon. XOX, Heidi.